Hello and welcome. I'm Sophie boyer -Jordé. I have the pleasure of speaking to the Honorable Pereira Silima, who is Deputy Minister of Home Affairs of the Tanzanian government. Uh, hello. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. A pleasure. Uh, we would be very interested in learning more about how the ICT infrastructure is uh, uh, being modernized by the Tanzanian government, uh, having societal and economic development in mind. Yeah. Thank you. In fact, uh, uh, Tanzania, as many other countries, has realized the importance of modernization <coughs> and uh, taking into call the ICT structures. Tanzania has been putting up a lot of huge infrastructure in that regard. And starting from the, uh, the, the optical fiber, that uh, is supposed to cover the whole country. I mean, in all districts of Tanzania. And uh, at this juncture, that, uh, that, that fiber has gone further to, already has covered some, some districts. But in fact, the intention is, in a very short time, that every district is covered. And the ultimate goal is every office uh, private and, and public should be connected. And in that regard, in fact, the, the freedom for information or the right of the same will be very, very close to be uh, made. But the other thing is, Tanzania is taking up a policy of putting up an e-government. Uh, efforts are already underway and, uh, in fact, uh, uh, in, in infrastructure for that in terms of uh, institution has been in place and uh, already some studies are underway in how to, to, do, to do that. But what we think is starting from the, the ID, EID, in fact that, is, that will be the basis for, for linking other, 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 other areas of the government as well as private sector. And uh, we think that uh, the ID will be the, the, the most important uh, document or entity that will take a board in the, in the e-government services. But also within our ministries, we are also thinking of uh, having the, the e-passport. And uh, these two linked with their strategies, I think we are going to have already a very big coverage for, for the country. And how do you see the next uh, three to five years um, continue the expansion of this new ICT platform? What are the upcoming uh, developments? Yeah, in fact, the intention is, our vision is by 2020, the country be covered and accessibility be more or less everyone who, who is willing to. Yeah, and uh, we, we know that we have a challenge of literacy in some corners of the country, but in fact we are, we are working that because it is very, very interesting to find that somebody has never gone to school but they still can use the gadgets that are connected to ITC, like the, the, the phone and uh, mobile phones and so on. So in fact, we, we intend to, to, to make sure that the, the, the infrastructure and the system is available and then educate gradually people to, to take themselves on board of the same. And are public-private uh, partnerships um, a collaboration scheme that is being um, leveraged upon uh, in Tanzania? Yes. In fact, we passed on the, the policies as well as uh, the, the regulations for PPP. And uh, notwithstanding, however, a lot of people are looking for solid and hard infrastructure rather than soft. And uh, in, in terms of uh, like railways, like uh, roads, that is a huge excitement of the locals. I mean, as well as uh, the in, uh, international investors in that line, where 
uh, PPP projects are already taking shape. On this area, in fact, the, that is, there is some interest already, but that not, notwithstanding that you can compare it with the hard infrastructure. Like the, the ID system that we, we, we are doing currently, in fact, we have uh, contracted a private sector individual to take it forward. But also we think that the, the operation of some areas will, will involve a private sector in, in many areas, in many corners of the, the, the country. So it would uh, seem that Tanzania is on an acceleration in the development curve and uh, really seeing progress towards establishing a digital society. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, we are, we are trying hard. What, what is we see as challenges currently is the financial muscle. Because these things need a lot of money, but also uh, human capital. And uh, human capital is very important because we have a lot of youth currently doing studies in universities and other levels. But unfortunately, there are very few that are good at uh, science subjects that are of paramount importance to, to ICT systems. So in fact, what we are working very hard is to, to, to make sure that the education system impact the knowledge that will definitely make the ICT regime work better and easy than it is now. Oh, thank you very much, Honorable Sidima. Okay, my pleasure. And, uh, thank you, you for being welcome. with us today.